What up, YouTube? It's your girl, Jay, here, and I am recording from my laptop. That's why it's grainy. That's why it sounds like I'm probably yelling. But, let me take these glasses off. You can see me now. Ha ha! But, um, I just finished an on-demand um, interview with Chase Bank. Hopefully, I go to the next level. But if I don't, then okay. But I wanted to, that's probably sound loud as hell, but I wanted to do a little video, a little something something to show y'all that I am still here. I have not went anywhere. I still want to do the Bean Boozle Challenge. I did it with my brother, but I did it on my phone, and I didn't think the video was working, and now I know we could probably do it on my laptop. It's still not fixed, but whatever we're going to work with it we're going to roll with it but today it's tuesday and i think i need to do a little update on vsg vsga vsg what oh okay music in my head but the ac is running so hopefully y'all can hear me but it's been it's august so it's been through two months and let me see two months since the Third, it's been a while since I had surgery. <laughs> so, um, people say they can see it. I'm wearing, I had to put this wig on. Child, I had to put this wig on. I doubt they'll hire me if they saw my natural hair, even though I'm starting to use coconut oil for my hair and it made it nice and soft. Yay. But, um, everything is fine. Lately, I haven't been hungry and I have been losing pounds. I've lost two pounds since yesterday. I guess I was walking and my calorie outtake was greater than my calorie intake so I have been losing weight and I am now down to something 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 pounds you think I want to tell you my weight I don't think so not yet I'm not that comfortable so hopefully everything goes great I I gotta make appointments again it's just because I hate traveling there by public transportation it's the only way I can get around because a cab will cost too much to go to where I have to go but it's just it's crazy guys it's crazy I don't have a car but I live in New York City so why would I need a car easy I need a car hell I need my license first but fuck that I need my license first <laughs> I have my learner's permit for the second time I have two more years in order to get my license so hopefully I don't fuck it up this time if I do that's all I got to say but um now I know I can do the bean boozle challenge me and my brother did it and it was just so horrible it, I, I, I can't even I don't even think out of all the beans we tried I got two good ones and the rest were shit but we got one more box and we're going to try it again try it again so I can't I can't wait to do it but hopefully it's a better outcome this time I'm going to give this this is a little quick video little five six minutes I'm going to give you the a few tips on what you should know if you want to have vertical sleeve gastrectomy surgery or any weight loss surgery but I only know from the VSG side alright one you don't know if you're hungry or not well I don't know if I'm hungry or not so it's hard to say it's like I'm not hungry but I didn't eat but I'm drinking all this li I'm drinking more liquids than I am eating food and hopefully the blood test when I go to the doctor this week when I get the results next month hopefully it's not bad. Um, two, you're taking your vitamins. I gotta take my vitamins, but I didn't take them yet because I was too focused on getting this interview thing done. I didn't know it was 13 questions. That's some long questions for talking to the camera um, against yourself. <laughs> three, like my short finger, like my short finger, guys. <laughs> three, you don't poop that much. I'm sorry to be graphic and detailed, but because you're not eating food like that you are really not pooping and everybody knows when you poop you lose weight 
and the colace I take every day to try to help me it defeats the purpose if you're not eating so what it do for <sighs> when you go out to eat it's very weird on it's it's very it's very it's very exhausting trying to figure out what you what you can eat but I'm just gonna I got a tip I might order off the kids menus still might not eat all that but or I could just get regular food and like just have it for a few days like I got Chipotle yesterday and I tried to do the whole hacking thing by asking for something of everything but I I messed up by going during like lunch hour in the city because I work in Midtown so worst time don't try to get a whole bunch of stuff for a lot because they do skip on stuff during like lunch hours so next time I'll go at the recommended time of non-peak hours to see if it works because I don't go to Chipotle at all and this is like the third or fourth time since I heard about them of me going um and so now I got that food in the refrigerator so I got lunch for the next two days yes it'll take me a minute to eat all that I try not to throw to five you might end up wasting food like I hate wasting food so if I don't eat all of something I give it to my brother or I give it to my mother or I give it to my friend when I hang out with him playing video games and stuff like that and talk like they know if I don't eat it all they could have the rest or if I don't want it they could have it so that's one thing you will be wasting food if you don't give it to somebody it will go bad or you or you just don't want it no more and you can't find anybody to give it to so that's another thing try not to waste food there's a lot of hungry people out here and I feel bad for all the hungry and homeless people and I'm fixing myself good thing I didn't do that in an interview I got a new I got a sports bra last week from Kohl's it's tight I could jump up and down I could do double dutch in this bra what um oh six your clothes your clothes will be so baggy on you and the fact that I was wearing men's clothes along with the uh, some women's clothes like these men's clothes they were already from the big and tall section and stuff like that so it's like now it feels like I got I got this shirt on and it's almost like it's almost like a dress that's how big it's getting my pants these are women's pants but these are a 28 so now I'm a 24 26 and it's like I need new pants because my belt it went from one little like worn out notch where I always had it to like tightening the shit out of the belt so it's like oh I need new pants I got new jeans size 24 because they stretch a lot which they're becoming a little loose uh, seven speaking of loose your skin your skin ladies and gentlemen out there go to the gym and tone up tone up is the key here you gotta tone up you can't just worry about your cardio you gotta worry about your your your, your toning your your weight training you gotta weight train I love weight training I love working with weights because I'm athletic that, like that I hate cardio I hate it I can't stand it 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 kills me unless it's kickboxing that's the kind of like kickboxing or barking, boxing you know that's the type of cardio I like but I do not like treadmill cardio but if I have to do it to get my cardio in I'll do it but work those weights I'm tired of going to the gym and seeing the girls just head straight to the treadmills or the elliptical no boo boo hit those weights and plus that's where a lot of the sexy men are at you need to see some of these guys these guys are some of these men are hot like their bodies you want to lick the sweat off of it yeah that's how hot some of these guys bodies are because it's tight you don't want a loose flabby body you want a tight toned sexy body that is why we had the surgery this is why you're thinking of surgery to be one not only healthier but to look sexy in your own skin you gotta look se sexy for yourself first and foremost before you try to look sexy for somebody else and I want to look sexy for myself 
because looking in the mirror, I hate it. But yeah, if the screen went black, that's because it faded out. But um, ladies, men, you y'all go to the weights automatically. That's the first thing y'all do. Y'all go to the gym. Boom, weights. Ladies, hit the weights also. You want to tone up. We need to tone up that skin. My arms. I'm trying to tone these bad boys up as much as I can because I could fly to Jamaica. I could fly to Hawaii with these wings. Um, I'm looking at my stomach, and I'm like, this is going to be bad. I'm going to try to work on the abs. you got to work on the thighs. you got to work on your glutes. you got to tone up. You've got to weight train to the gods. All right? Um, anything else that i got to say? I don't, oh, you got to get your protein in. Um, I'm trying to get my protein in as much as I can, even if it's little nibbles of chicken somewhere. Or I don't know, is, does pork have protein in it? I don't know. But fish, I'm sick and tired of fish. And speaking of fish, I gotta get back my Tupperware from my friend's house. You better give me back my Tupperware. I'm just saying. Look at that pimple. I did an interview with a big ass pimple. It hurt it yesterday. It doesn't hurt today. It's kind of drying out now. But, yeah, I thought, and I like this. Oh, I like this wig. This is not like a wig. I think I'll wear this wig for today. I'm not sure. No, I'm doing my laundry today, so no wig. Oh, I didn't put on earrings. I went. I went without earrings. I just noticed that. Wow. All right. Well, that's all. It's a, this video was a little longer than what I thought. It's a little quick video. Just I wanted to put something up here to show you that I am still alive, that y'all still have me, and y'all still on this journey with me. I haven't been to the gym in a week because I have no clothes. That is why today, Tuesday, I'm going to the laundry. I got to get my clothes. So, I am going to go, and plus I am thirsty and hungry. Well, I'm not hungry. I'm just more thirsty. So, I'm going to be drinking a lot of water today. Uh, and you got to try to get rid of the water weight. I try so hard to get rid of this water weight. I'm probably all water. See? All water. People say they could see the, the changes in me, and now I can see the changes in me. When I walk by and I see my reflection, I'm not as wide as I used to be. So I'm, I'm like, yes. Yes. I see the change now. I see it in my clothes. I see it in my skin. I see the changes now. You always see the changes after everybody else sees the changes in you. But all you got to do is keep an open mind, keep your appointments, unlike what I've been doing. I've been keeping my doctor's appointments, but the bariatric appointments, I need to get back on that. Because um, it's just a daunting task of getting there. I hate get, I hate going there. Anybody got a car in New York City that they want to drive me for free? Because the way my checking account is set up, ugh. <laughs> in the next video, I'll probably do, I'll probably do a WWE superstar I saw on my way to work yesterday. And the fact that WWE was in New York City over the weekend was amazing balls. Like, New York City is the best place to be. Sorry everywhere. Sorry everywhere else. It's expensive as hell. That's why I still live at home. But, yeah, New York City. I don't know where I would be if it wasn't for New York. Like, where I would live if not New York City. Well, probably somewhere less expensive. Way less expensive. Extremely less expensive. Yeah. But I'll do another video to show that I'm live, and it'll probably be in the same grain as this one here. So I'm going to stop this, because I don't want this to be too long, knowing that YouTube, internet, love bloating takes forever. So I'm going to end this, and please like, comment, subscribe, and <sighs> like always, be blessed, have a safe day, and I will see y'all later. <laughs> Bye, guys.